Hey, my name is Hussain Abdullah and I'm the uh, Executive Director, uh, Director for Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Thank you for joining us this morning for this timely and important briefing sponsored by uh, the Salam Foundation in coordination with uh, Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Reprisal against human rights defenders in Bahrain has been a serious and ongoing issue long before mass protests flooded the street in Manama of Manama in February of 2011. Indeed, many of the human rights defenders currently in prison in Bahrain, such as Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja and Abdul Jalil al sengais Naji Fatil and others, were previously targeted uh, in, in previous periods in the country. Despite the government of Bahrain claims that it has implemented all the recommendations of the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, BICI, there is an abundance of evidence that uh, significantly undermines any such claim. For example, frontline defenders uh, in its report, Global Trends in 2013 for Human Rights Defenders, report state that, that the government of Bahrain, quote, failed, failed to change its repressive policy toward human rights defenders throughout the year, numerous instances of arrest, persecution, based on fabricated charges, assaults, ill-treatment, and torture in detention were reported. The government continued its practice of imprisoning penalties of long-term imprisonment, end quote. It also documents the arrest and charging of human rights defenders in Bahrain for publishing information related to uh, human, rights human rights or criticism of the Bahraini government on the internet. Reporters Without Border 2014 World Press Freedom Index rank Bahrain 163 out of 180 countries for press freedom, just below Kazakhstan and Rwanda. Even the U.S. State Department provide confirmation of the continued harassment of human rights defenders in Bahrain in its country report on human rights, in its country report on human rights practices for 2013, states report that, quote, the most serious human rights problem include lack, for, uh, lack of due process and trials of political and human rights activists, medical personnel, teachers, and students with some trial resulting in harsh uh, sentences. There are steps that the international community can take now to lay the groundwork for a successful negotiated solution. United Nations member states can call on the government of Bahrain to release all human rights defenders that have been impr imprisoned. It can also call on the government to allow international NGO and, and UN special procedure, such as the Special Rapporteur on Torture and other cruel, and inhumane, or degre degrading treatment or punishment into the country. All, our all of our panelists today are Bahraini activists and human rights defenders who have experienced uh, many of these abuses I have just spoken, uh, uh, which I just spoken about. They will give us an update on the treatment of human rights defenders in Bahrain and provide us with some recommendation on what the international community can do to better protect the work of human rights activists and ensure accountability uh, for any violations of human rights in the country. Panelists, and they're not going in this order, Mariam al Khwaja is the acting president of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, BCHR, and co-director co of the Gulf Center for Human Rights. In Bahrain, Ms. Al-Khwaja played an instrumental role in the democratic protest at the Pearl Roundabout in February 2011, and is the daughter of the prominent human rights defenders, ad an advocate and founder of BCHR, Abdul Hadi Al-Khwaja, who was sentenced to life imprisonment in June 2011. Ms. Al-Khwaja and BCHR have received numerous awards for, the human, for their human rights work. Mohammed Al Tajir is a human rights lawyer and general coordinator for the Bahrain Human Rights Observatory, BHRO. He has served with more than 25 lawyers to represent uh, human rights defenders and political activists who had been detained in Bahrain. In early 2011, he was arrested by Bahraini police officers and was held in, in comunicado detention with no access to his lawyer or family for more than five weeks. When Mr. Al Tajir was brought to trial, he was faced with charges that include publicly, publicly inciting hatred against the regime in Bahrain and spreading malicious news and propaganda. Mohammed Al Masqati 
is a Bahraini activist and president of founder of Bahrain Youth Society for Human Rights, BYSHR. Mr. Al Masqati founded Bahrain Youth Society for Human Rights in 2005 and has been the subject of targeted threats and intimidation in recent years due to his work. After traveling to Geneva in September 2012 to attend a meeting of the Human Rights Council, he received over a dozen phone calls threatening his life and the safety of his family. In addition to his role as a president of BYSHR, Mr. Al Masqati train, trains other human rights defenders on digital security. Last but not least, Ahmed Ali is the head of legal affairs for the Bahrain Institute for Rights and Democracy, BIRD, uh, which is based in London, and is a, uh, is a researcher in international law. He is a graduate in law and holds master's degree in international human rights law with an interest in the laws of intervention and interference. Mr. Ali was also part of the legal team that successfully stopped uh, can uh, gas, gas, tear gas cancer shipment from South Korea to Bahrain last year. With any further ado, I call on Mr. Masqati to begin this uh, presentation. Yeah, we, we have a, a, a one minute audio that we received from uh, a well-known human rights defender, Naji Fatil, uh, who is actually serving. Uh, Go ahead and begin, and I'll I'll do a quick uh, uh, translation as as he when he finishes from. Go ahead. <laughs> 